best way for me to communicate if you want you to actually marry this person is through you all right the second way will be through the person why the third will be through people around you okay and uh, i don't want you to conclude yet don't jump into conclusion so now let me break this three down hello people welcome back to my youtube channel so on today's um episode of our relationship series we'll be talking about three ways in which you know who god wants you to marry okay but before we jump right into the video i am christina kelman if you're new here and i film on faith model christian lifestyle from lagos nigeria if you'd like to be a part of this growing family please do well to subscribe and press the notification bell beside it and again it's fine each time i drop a new video and please even before we proceed into the video do well to help me smash that like button yes and do well to always communicate with me in the comment section so even before you dive deep into this video please do well to comment yeah please do well to comment down below comment about my look comment about you know how my videos have been blessing you so far come just please just show me some love just, just show this baby girl some love by commenting down below all right yeah that being done so let's jump right into what we have for today as you can already tell by the title of this video and as i've already said earlier that we'll be talking about three ways in which you know who god wanted to marry yes We've been talking about relationship, relationship red flags and all that. Yeah, but how do you even know, oh, this is exactly who God wants to marry? So in this video, I'll be telling you three signs, three things that you will definitely see. I mean, these three things, if you see them, just know that mm, this is who God has, has ordained for me. All right? We all know that after salvation, which is a very, very compulsory and important decision for all men to make, is marriage. Yes, marriage is another major decision for us all as human beings for us all to make as human beings okay you can choose to be married and you can choose not to be married it's not your first book thing all right but if you've chosen to say okay i want to marry i want to be married all right these are the three things that god will actually use in communicating to you that mm, you know what this is who i ordain for you okay so i'll be grouping this into three the first way by which god communicates if you want you to actually marry this person is through you all right the second way will be through the person why the third will be through people around you okay and uh, i don't want you to conclude yet don't jump into conclusion so now let me break this straight down okay the first one i said is through you yes um nobody permit me to repeat that that no one should match make any two individual with each other one and no one should receive who to marry yeah. for you. You can hear my baby's voice underneath. If you are new here, I'm a mother of a baby girl called Soteria. And of course, for my own means, you should know by now that Soteria is <laughs> always here around, okay? So forgive whatever you hear underground, all right? Okay, so I said the first way through which God will speak to, to you. God will show you. The first signs God will use in showing you that this person is ordained for you is through you. And, um no one is supposed to receive who you are to marry for you you are first of all to receive or you are first of all to know yourself as a man or a woman you will definitely know that oh this person is for me there's always that knowing except if you are being not sensitive you know to things around you and then let me point this out that this knowing will not be things out of the normal because some people will be expecting that they have this or on um they have this unusual sensation you know unusual things happening probably you know it doesn't have to be a dramatic one yes the knowing doesn't have to be a dramatic one it's just like a normal the way you just connect so well with someone being your friend you know and you know a step just lead to the other yeah so no one should receive any um, anybody for you god is going to show you through you the fourth sign by which god will show you um that this person is made for you which i said is true you might actually be true word of knowledge it might be true prophecy it might be true word of wisdom it might be true um what's it called it might be true dreams it might be true inner peace and um i don't want us to confuse the fact that um, everybody will say i i i receive i dreamt it's not everyone that will dream about their life partner that i was by the well i was fetching and it came around and helped me to carry the water 
I was in a war front and I was losing the battle. Then he came around and you know, we won the battle together. It's not everybody that will receive their husband that way. So don't don't let that be the baseline for you or probably the basis for you to be looking for who to marry. When it comes to prophecy, I will actually advise every anyone to be very, very careful because you know to receive prophecy is to see a prophecy or to perceive a word in your spirit is a thing and the interpretation to you give to that prophecy is also another thing all right so when it comes to prophecy you have to be very very balanced it has to be from a spiritually matured mind because most of the major reason why we have most um, you know more damaged single sisters or single sisters and brothers in the body of christ is because they didn't interpret the prophecy they seems to heard uh, they, they seems to heard or probably perceived correctly i want you to know that prophecies are always based on three things and could actually be interpreted on three things number one is your emotions number two is your desires and the third one is your spiritual intelligence yes prophecies are built around those three things your spiritual interpretation of any prophecies are actually built on this those three things which is your emotions your desires and your spiritual intelligence you know if your emotions is already involved probably already loving over this brother or sister whatever you receive at that time might be adulted might be adulterated might not be the original intent of god for you or for your life you see these prophetic things i think will actually be a whole video on its own but even at that let me still just point this out i want you to know that god's will for you is not in presence especially when it comes to marriage all right god's will for you is in personality you know god might be showing you someone maybe using the figure he's showing you as a physical representation of who he wants you to be with probably the personality or the charisma of the person but most of the times we are not spiritually intelligent to interpret what we saw correctly i would just assume that oh god is showing me this brother then this is my brother and handling prophecy the way we actually handle prophecy is very very important most people when they see these things they began to brag about it is is either her or never or no one else god has shown me that this is him god has shown me that this is her hmm. even when god told moses even when moses knew that he was going to lead the children of israel into the promised land a land flowing with milk and honey god still stopped him along the way and said you know what you are not taking you are not leading them again so don't forget and i want you to know that god prophecies can change it's not a constant thing all right this same god instructed a prophet to go and tell zachariah that he's going to die and you know this same god also instructed that same prophet to go tell him that he's not going to die again so when it comes to interpretation of prophecies we have to handle it with all diligence we have to handle it with all all sense of maturity because god has shown you does not have me that you now start shouting it about louding it making people know god has shown me he is the one he is the one don't make a fool of yourself all right just take things can god show you for you to know remember i said through you that the, 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 the number one signs in which god will show you that this person is for you is actually through you okay so it is through you and it is for you not for any other person so stop don't loud that prophecy don't loud it don't start making noise about it about all right it is for you god can speak to you through dreams he can speak to you through inner witness he can speak to you through peace you just have this unexplained peace about this person there's just this you know there's this ambience that this person carries that whenever the person is just around you you just feel peace you just you just feel relaxed that is actually a way by which god is telling you that you know what there's something in this for you okay yeah so those are the ways true i will still make another video on this this very me because the major misconception we have in the body of christ is actually on god's will you know when we build who to marry on what god said based on prophecies and dreams visions and all they are good but hey it's not every one of us that will receive 
or that we perceive money, or that we money, dream money. another way in which god is going to show you that this is a person to marry is through the other person i mean marriage or relationship or marriage is actually two-sided okay it's not just from your side alone you perceive something you cannot say because you perceive then it must be the other person must also see it that way too if the other person is not seeing it then you're just wasting your time brooding on what is not i've seen people do this over time and they will even be allowing the brother or probably the sister to be doing they call it umbrella ministry around them and the sister will be doing cooler ministry and the brother will be doing umbrella ministry meaning the brother will be shading them you know and people will be thinking that they're in a relationship don't fall for that okay it has to be double-sided you must know the other person must know and uh, even if god has shown you through you that you know what this person might be for you you've seen it in your dream or probably in a weakness or probably through peace or probably through dreams or something it still has to be from the other person too okay the other person still has to see it too all right and that is why another way by which god will speak to you is through the person yeah this person will show genuine undiluted desire and passion for you as a sister yes. see this passion in the heart of this brother for you always looking for you in, in church programs even if you if you people don't attend the same programs this person is just always concerned about you they are particular about your growth they want to see you see you will know if this person is passionate about you or probably or if the person is just faking it and that is how you know through the person i mean this is another way through the person when you see this godly godly desire when you see this genuine godly desire and passion for you i mean this person is just passionate some people will travel all the way from probably somewhere very far away just to spend so even if it, eventually people are not together to so spend some time with you people this person will call you all the time to know if you're well if you're fine if you are good they will be concerned to know everything about you and they will be concerned you know to even talk about you wherever they are the passion if you're passionate about something you will not hide it if you're passionate about a thing you'll talk about that thing you know wherever you meet wherever you met so if this brother is always saying let's side of a relationship don't let anybody know that we are in a relationship yet and if we are doing corner corner secret relationship just know that this the passion is not there all right of course i'm not saying that the person should start announcing you immediately if but it's even possible i remember very well that the day i told I, I gave my yes to my husband it's also the day i met people that are really very 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 close to me the day i gave him a yes he started shouting and screaming it yay he gave me a yes come and speak with my brother i remember so well that that day i spoke with a lot of people i mean so that is how you will know that oh Tomo, this person is passionate about me, right? The person was, don't don't fool yourself. Oh. Even if my husband does not know how to display his emotion in terms of being romantic. But I know that this guy is passionate about me, okay? If he's not the gifts kind of person. But I know that, no. Before he can even say two, three sentences, he would have mentioned no offense. He would have said my, my wife. He would have mentioned something like that. So that is a sign for you to know that, oh, this guy is passionate. And that is a sign for you to know that it is God. See, it is it, it takes God to plant your desire in a man. Just know that it doesn't just happen naturally. No matter your beauty, no matter your you know character or whatever or what are you, it can only take God to plant that this kind of passion in the heart of another person. I've seen people build their passion for a particular person or for the for the person they are in a relationship with based on some things probably based on beauty or probably based on um character but when the beauty fades probably i i remember i heard a story that this woman was very beautiful very pretty the husband got married to her because of that beauty and when you know life happens this woman got involved in the fire accident and that was the end of the love so your love for this person should not be based on who you are it shouldn't be based on who you are to say or your look or your shape or your character it should just be a natural thing that god himself planted that is how god wants it to be remember um isaac his passion was for rebecca his passion was for rebecca and you know he wanted rebecca and when his father-in-law even gave him leah 
which is Rebecca's elder sister. The passion drove him. That that's that's just how it is. The passion drove him to work another seven years to not just to work. I mean to serve and you know serve like a slave for another seven years just to have Rebecca. So the passion we're talking about is not based on your look, not based on your shape, not based on I'm godly, I know how to talk, I know how to pocket myself. It's not based on any of those. It's basically based on God planting it in the heart of that person. Okay. That being said, let's move the let's move to point three, which is God speaking true so god can actually use people around you now you know you see this thought these people around you is actually the very third one the last one which is they will serve as confirmations okay they'll just be like oh i perceive it could be your spiritual leader it could be your mentor your friends your parents you know people around they'll just be like oh there's this connection i just sensed immediately i just saw the two of you together i just know you know there's this Thing that people just like, you know, I just saw the two of you together. I just know that you know what, these two people are actually meant for each other. That is how it's not as if those people will now be the one to say, it's not as if it is, it will be your spiritual leader that will now dreamt or probably have a prophecy matching two people together. No, it should not be. That is putting the cat before the horse, okay? No, you are supposed to know first. Then the other person is supposed to know to, you know, God speak through you. That is um, true prophecies, whatever. Then through the person that is true, genuine. You can see this, this the, the fire in the eyes of this person. And now people using, God using, uh, what's it called? Um, people around to also confirm it. Like, you people are just perfect match. Another thing I would actually love to say about this old thing that our God, um, you know, show you ways in which god shows you who to marry is true divine connection it can happen anywhere anytime you know divine connection god connect god orchestrates events just to connect is just to connect destined people together i remember the way mine happened was that a friend who happened to my oh my own friend who happened to be my husband's uh best friend was just talking about me you know this guy is passionate about me. He likes me just as a sister. And he was talking about me to my husband. I'm like, ah, this girl low, blah, 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 blah. And as he was talking about me to him, he got the passion and the fire to just meet this person. And that was it. See, there's, there is such a thing as destiny. When God is involved, he can use the slightest and the silliest means whatsoever to connect two people to each other so i think that will even make it for in this video yes divine connection you can just go to an event or probably it might be that um you went for riaza this person that you've always been seeing and maybe they just pair you guys together to do something and you discover that you people get talking and you get started flowing with each other you discover that you people have the same principles to life the same value system and from there, a step will lead to the other, a step will lead to the other. And, you know, something will, boom, something was, will be built out of that, all right? So, these are the ways by which God show you who to marry. If God has confirmed it through you, first one, then through the person, second one, ah, if God now even used people around you to confirm it, bam, it has finished. What are you waiting for? Pick dates and go and marry. <laughs> I hope you've been blessed by this video and I know and I hope you've learned one or two from it. If so, do well to give me a massive thumbs up if you haven't done that in the beginning. And I'll see you in my next. Bye for now.